I'm Alex Moore on behalf of that Nerd Show, and we're here at the first annual Women's Texas Film Festival, and I'm happy to be talking here about the movie Parable. So, I don't know a whole lot about this movie, so I'm just going to be straight shooter and say, what is this movie about? It's about two boys who lived in isolation their whole life, and they start to question why they've never left their home. They can see out the window, but they've never gone outside. They start questioning why, and figuring out that the world really isn't what they thought it was. Okay, so you're in this film as well, right? So what's your role and tell us about that. Um, I, I really had a small role and it was just um, it was a scene on TV where they show like what they're like the kids are supposed to act like. And yeah, it's just it's a couple of seconds. Uh, So, um, just just in a short time working in a film, though, did you have a good time with even though it was, did you get kind of a taste for it? So it kind of makes you want some more. Or? Well, it was my first experience in movies, and I learned a lot from it. And you know, now that I was on set, I'm more interested in making probably like making movies in the future. We'll see where that goes. I'm mean, looking out. Now, now, tell me about what, what your role was in this film. I'm the director. Okay, director. Okay, great. So, where did the where did the inspiration exactly come from? Uh, uh, it's based a little bit on Allegory of the Cave, and also on this podcast about cranes. How they were going to go think, and they realized that if they don't let the cranes live, know that they're being done by humans, they could actually multiply. So, the scientists were pretending to cranes. So when you when you talk about the title being a parable, is it just your inspiration that led to this title, or? Uh, no, it's just like a little message. Because no matter what, we're curious. No matter how we're brought up, there's a little bit of that curiosity. Okay. So uh, one one specific question, uh, since this is kind of a special film festival, it's the first annual women's, Texas Women's uh, Film Festival here in Dallas. Um, as a female director, as a woman, uh, what was what was the key inspiration for you in sort of choosing this line of work? Uh, was there a key moment in your life where it became clear to you, yes, I want to be a director? I grew up watching movies and little by little realized I just had an interest in it. Yeah. Yeah. I was creating things. Awesome. So, uh, what, do you, what do you think of this director? Do you have a good time with her? Do you feel like she's somebody you can maybe work with again in the future? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap this up with one final question since we are that nerd show. Uh, and since it's a big year for Star Trek and Star Wars mingling in the same year, if you could be a part of Star Trek or Star Wars, which one would it be and, and why? Star Wars. Stars? <laughs> a lot cooler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Star Wars. What do you like specifically about it? Like, I'm not really much into the sci-fi, but I find Star Wars to be more interesting compared to Star Trek for like some elements of like fighting and stuff like that. Alright, well, thank you for your time. It's wonderful to talk to you.